Hello Star Wars The Old Republic players, we finally got a release date and official one for Game Update 7.3.1, it is releasing on September 6th, that is next Wednesday, and we also got quite a couple of details of brand new things that are coming with this update, including a peek at the cartel market, where yesterday they released video and images of a new Ahsoka inspired set. The set is called the Expatriate Armor, and you can see it now in the footage right here. And it will not only come with an armor set, there will also be the lightsabers that she uses on the show. And that's not the coolest part about the lightsabers. But the coolest part about the lightsabers is that not only do they look like the lightsaber, listen to the sound of how the lightsabers turn on. That, that's exactly how they sound in the show for Ahsoka. That's really, really cool. And I definitely think just for that it's worth it. They also teased that there will be a new set inspired by Admiral Tron. They did not give us a sneak peek of how it looks like just yet, but they did tell us it is coming. So a whole look for Admiral Tron, that's really cool as well. So that's all we know so far for the cartel market on that new update releasing on September 6th. Don't forget that this will also be the launch of a brand new galactic season. And I will go into details of some of the new things for that galactic season in a second. But before I do that, they are also making changes to the economy of the game once again. So recently they did some quick travel costs with some of the more recent economy changes they did, they are going to adjust this quick travel cost based on your account player level. This means that people that are more new to the game, that they are much lower level characters, the cost of the quick travel will be a bit less. But the biggest change to the economy is that the Galactic Trade Network, also known as the GTN, will be raise its cap to 3 billion credits. The current limit right now is 1 billion. But it will be raised to 3 billion. So this will help a lot in making sure people do sell on the GTN itself instead of relying on trade channels outside of the GTN. Now as I mentioned on my previous video, there's gonna be a couple of changes to this new galactic season. And now they have given us more details on what are these changes. So they did confirm there will not be a new companion, but there will still be a story on the galactic season. They want for companion additions to be a bit more meaningful rather than just adding them every season as their explanation for why because there's already a ton of companions in the game as a whole. And they also tease that we might be getting a new companion in the form of a Basilisk droid because Eric Mosco in the forum post makes a reference to Lane Bisla once again which is going to involve in our next story for 7.4. Anyways, since there won't be a new companion, that means that the slots that were related to companion stuff are going to change in the Galactic Season Pass. This will be replaced with the following. More seasonal reputation items, 5 new personal decorations based off popular armors, a new unique consumable item that grants Jawa intel to yourself as well as other players, an exclusive new pet and a white and white die model. These are the new rewards that will replace everything that was companion related in the season galactic tiers. As for progression, the progression of the story will be as you progress the seasonal reward track. So as you go up in tiers, you will unlock more parts of the story. He also makes the reference that you don't have to do the story if you don't want to. They say overall this story is a bit more lighthearted, but it will still explore some interesting things with the dark side of the force. Now another big change for this season is new objectives. So one of the new objectives I mentioned is that you will have an objective where your companion you have to put it in a specific role. For example, defeat enemies with a companion set to the heal role. This will apply to all other roles as well. They also mentioned that space mission objectives have been split into regular and heroic objectives, like complete space missions, complete heroic space missions. For those that play operations, there will also be new objectives for them, like complete specified operations on story difficulty 
or complete specified operations on veteran master difficulty. This is similar to the flashpoint one that we currently have where you have like a selection of flashpoints you can do. Speaking of the flashpoint objective, they're going to simplify it where in the past you had to do a certain amount of flashpoints or a certain amount of specific flash points or bonus bosses that was really complicated sometimes to understand or for the flashpoint thing to track would sometimes bug out so essentially they're removing all of that so instead the objective for flash points will be complete flash points from the following list and that's it so from that selection you have to complete those flash points nothing with bonus bosses or nothing about do any flash point or things like that it will be very specified now to avoid any issues Lastly, I also mentioned that there's going to be a new objective for subscribers. So instead of having 10 objectives to choose from, there will be 11. However, you can only complete 7 still. It's just that you will have a 11th option to pick those 7 from. As for what kind of objectives there will be, they say it will be a variety of things. It could be completing a chapter, it could be completing an uprising, it could be completing an operation. So it's really just an extra objective from the random pool of objectives. Now without further ado, let's look at all the rewards that are really special on this new galactic season. Season 5 called Confidence in Power. Here's for example the weapon set. These are called the Hijack Weapon Set. So it will be a weapon for each type just like last time. So you have a good idea here how they look like. Here's a look at the new mount, the Imperial Assault Tank very cool and the coolest thing is that it changes with the crystal color that you're using so you can really modify it to any particular taste of color that you want so it can be more imperial or it can be more republic with the colors you choose next we have the new armors the imperial lieutenant armor the emperor's chosen armor and the empire director armor that's three unique sets granted one of them is a bit more upgraded than the other one but still they're quite different sets compared to previous seasons where it was just a similar set. Here's also the second weapon set. Not too different from the other one, but I, I think it's nice. They look clean. Here's also a look up another mount, the creature mount, the Hardy Amasa and the Tenacious Armasaur. So one's a bit more normal and traditional, the other one's more glowy. Because we love our glowy stuff, don't we? But the biggest, most awesome reward personally here is none other than Love Cat Kitten. The fact that they're doing this on the Galactic Season is awesome. You would think this would be like the big um, cartel market item as a pet, but no, they're doing the pet as part of the Galactic Season that you can grind and get him. That's awesome. He looks really cute. I love him. Here's also some of the decorations that you can get also as a reward in the Galactic Season. These are some of the personnel that I mentioned would have these cool cartel market looks. And then some other decorations including the new joy that will be part of the story. There's also a trash being on fire decoration for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, that's a look at all the things that are coming for this galactic season. September 6th, all of these that I mentioned, all of it on this video is coming on September 6th. So stay tuned and check it out next Wednesday. See you next time.